Okay, grade 12, welcome to the second week of math in grade 12. We're carrying on with number patterns, but now we're going to be talking about geometric sequences. So let's just revise what we already know about geometric sequences. First of all, the term, finding the term, the general term, we've got Tn is equal to Ar to the n minus 1. So it's Ar to the power of n minus 1, where Tn is the value of the nth term, a is your first term, R, N is the number of terms, and R, R is your common ratio. So remember in arithmetic sequences we had a common difference. In geometric sequences we have a common ratio. So your ratio is given by T3 over T2. And if you want to prove that it's a, a geometric sequence, T3 over T2 has to equal T2 divided by T1. So let's look at a couple of examples to make sure we know how to use it. It says, determine the 17th term, the 17th term of the geometric sequence, if the first term, T1, equals 3, T2 equals 9, and T3 equals 27. Okay, so our first term is 3, which we're going to call A. So found our common ratio. They told us it's a geometric sequence. So that makes life easy, so we don't have to go and compare it and prove. We just have to say, okay, the common ratio is just T2 divided by T1, which in this case is going to be 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Now our formula is Tn equals Ar to the n minus 1. Remember, grade 12, this formula will go on your formula sheet, so you don't have to have a panic attack. So Tn is equal to Ar to the n minus 1. So that's going to be A is 3 times by 3 all to the n minus 1. And now we want the 17th term. So we want the 17th term. So T17 is equal to 3 times 3 to the power of 16. So we can take our calculators and we go 3 to the power of 16 is a really big number, times by 3. And we end up with T17 is 129140163. So I want you to go and practice that and make sure you can do that and you get the same answer as I do. Now let's move on to our next question. It says, which term in the sequence, 1, 5, 25, etc., is equal to 3,125? Okay, so let's have a look at this. Do you see that this is T1 is 1, T2 is 5, and T3 is 25? Now, I know, because I made this, that this is your geometric sequence, but let's just check for a second. Is there a common difference? 5 minus 1 is 4, but 25 minus 5 is 20. So this is definitely not an arithmetic sequence. So let's see if it's a geometric sequence. Is T3 over T2 is equal to 25 divided by 5, which equals 5, and T2 divided by T1 is 5 divided by 1, which is 5. So awesome. We know that this is definitely a geometric sequence. Then we know for that Tn is equal to A, R, to N minus 1. Our first term is 1. Our R, our R is 5 to the power of N minus 1. And all of this, okay, is T to the N. But they want to know what is n if t to the n, this is t to n, is 3,125. So 3,125 equals 5 to the n minus 1. Okay. Let's see how we can do that. We could think about the fact that this has definitely got factors of 5 in it. So what we're going to do is, remember we did that prime factor thing? Well, we're going to do the same thing here, but with 5s. So, let's divide this by 5. 5 goes into 31, 6 times remainder 1. 5 goes into 12, twice remainder 2. 5 goes into 25, 5 times. 
Then we do five, five goes into six once, remainder one, five goes into twelve twice, remainder two, five goes into twenty-five five times. Put down a five. Five goes into twelve. Five goes into twelve twice. Remainder two. Five goes into twenty-five five times. And then we've got five goes into twenty-five five times. And five goes into five once. Right, so that means one, two, three, four, five. Five to the power of five is going to give me three thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Right, yes, I'm right. Therefore we can say, therefore we can say five to the power of five is equal to five to the n minus one. But now what do you remember about exponents? If we have common bases, what do we know? We know that we can get rid of the bases and we can just go 5 is equal to n minus 1. Therefore, 5 plus 1 is equal to n. Therefore, n is equal to the sixth term. So therefore, the sixth term is equal to 3,125. Okay, let's do another example. It says, in a geometric sequence, awesome, they told us a geometric sequence, T3 is 12, and T4 is 96. Find the first three terms of the sequence, and then find T12. Okay, so we know that T to the N is equal to AR to the N minus 1. So let's just write this in terms of that. So we've got T3 is equal to 12, is equal to a times r to the 3 minus 1. Then we've got 12 is equal to a r squared. Okay, happy with that? Let's do the same thing with t4. t4 is equal to 96, which is a times r to the 4 minus 1 which is the 96 is equal to AR cubed, AR cubed. So now do you see we've got two equations, two equations with two unknowns. So what could we do? We could maybe solve this one for one of these and then substitute in there. So I'm going to solve for A. I'm going to say, okay, fine, A is equal to 12 over R squared. And then I'm going to substitute this into here. So then I've got 96 equals, so if I see an A, I'm going to write 12 over R squared. So it's going to be 12 over R squared times that R cubed. Which is awesome, because what happens to those R's when they cancel? So we end up with 12, the squared cancels with one, two of those, and you're left with 12 R is 96. Therefore, your R is 96 divided by 12, which is 8. Right, so now what do we have? We have that R is 8. We now can find our A by substituting back into this. We can say that 12 over 8 squared is equal to A. So therefore, 12 over 64 is equal to A. And then if we want to simplify this, we can divide both the top and the bottom by 4. So we'd end up with 3 over 4 goes into 6 once, remainder 2, 4 goes into 24, 16, so it's 3, 16. So the first term, T1, is going to be 3, 16. T2 is going to be 3, 16 times by 8 which is going to be 3 over 8 cancels 1, 2, so it's going to be 3 over 2. Our third term, T3, is going to be 3 over 2 times 8, which then cancels 1, cancels, becomes a 4, which is 12. And that's our first three terms of our sequence. We've now found the first three terms, which are 3 over 16, 3 over 2, and then 12. Now they've asked us to find T12. And I'm going to do this in a different color because it's getting a bit busy. So they now want us to find T12. So I'm going to do it down here. T12 is equal to 
a r to the n minus 1, which equals the first term is 3 over 16, times by 8 to the 12 minus 1. So that becomes 3 over 16 times by 8 to the power of 11. And can you see that this is going to again be a huge number? Okay, times 3 divided by 16. And it works out to be, it works out to be 1, 6, 1, 0, 6, 1, 2, 7, 3, 6. So it's amazing how big these numbers get very quickly when it comes to geometric sequences. Right, final example. We've got an interesting one now. We've got k minus 2, 2k minus 6, 4k minus 6, the first three terms of a geometric sequence. They tell you it's a geometric sequence, and they say find the value of a. But what do we know about a geometric sequence? The geometric sequence has a common, common what? A common ratio. A common ratio, r, which equals t3 over t2, which equals t2 over t1. So we can use that to find the value of k. Because if this is term 1, and this is term 2, and this is term 3, then do you agree that using that, I can say 4k minus 8 over 2k minus 6 is equal to 2k minus 6 over k minus 2. So we can come down. And then what can we do? We're going to cross multiply. So we're going to get 4k minus 8 times by k minus 2 is equal to 2k minus 6, 2k minus 6, okay, let's multiply out, 4k times k is only 4k squared, 4k minus 2 becomes minus 8k, that becomes minus 8k, and then we've got plus 16, equals 2k times 2k is 4k squared, or the plus of. That times that is minus 12k, minus 12k, plus 36. Oh, how nice is that? The 4k squared cancel. Now we've got minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16k, plus 16. Minus 12k minus 12k is minus 24k plus 36. So let's take all the k's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. So we've got minus 16k plus 24k. When you take it to the other side, it becomes plus. Equals 36 minus 16. 24 minus 16 is 8k. 36 minus 16 is 20. Therefore, k is going to be 20 over 8 which if we simplify, we can divide both sides by 4, up and down, so it becomes 5 over 2. Am I right? Spiral goes into 25 times, yep, which is just 2.5. Right, so now we've found k, woohoo, which is going to be, let's leave it as a fraction, 5 over 2. So that is our k. Now let's just find the first three terms. I'm going to change colors so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, they've changed to a more interesting color for a change. So it's got to be. So find the first three terms. So all we're going to do now is substitute this into here. So the first term is going to be k minus 2, which is 2.5 minus 2. So the first term is really easy. t1 is going to be a half. Okay. t2, let's do the calculation of here, is 2 times 5 over 2. 2 times 5 over 2, minus 6, those cancel because so we've got 5 minus 6, which is minus 1. T3 is going to be 4 times 5 over 2, minus 8. Okay, so then this cancels, so that leaves you with a 2. 2 minus 2 times 5 is going to be 10 minus 8, which is 2. So our T3 is now, check it again, 2.5 is 10 minus 2 is 2. 
So we've got a half minus one and two. Those are our first three terms. Now they say calculate the value of the twelfth term. So let's think about that. To get the twelfth term, what do we need? We know that Tn is equal to ar to the n minus one. We've got a, it's a half. We know that a is a half. We need r. Okay, now we've worked out k, but do you agree that we need to work out what r is? So r, remember, is t2 divided by t1, which in this case is minus 1 divided by a half, which is minus 1, and I'm going to write it out slowly, divided by a half. What do we do when we divide by a fraction? We tip in time, so it becomes minus 1 times by 2, which is negative 2. So my r is negative 2, and I'm putting it in brackets just to help me remember when I'm doing the n minus 1. So therefore, your t of 12 is going to be the first term of a half, times by negative 2, all to the power of 12 minus 1. So it's a half times by minus 2 to the power of 11. So we go negative 2 to the power of 11, and then we times that point 0.5, and we get negative, where is this, negative 1024, and that is my T12. Right, grade 12, I think we have adequately revised your geometric sequences. Please make sure you know how to get your general term, how to work out your ratios, and how to prove something is a geometric sequence by using the common ratio formula. So practice and then do the assessments at the end of the session. Have a great day.